Hi everybody, it's me, Mom, and Courtney, and we had a very busy weekend where we went to a reptile expo, and Courtney's here to tell you everything about it. So this past, last day, Saturday, November 9th, we went to the expo, reptile super show in Costa Mesa, and we bought a lot of stuff from LLL Reptile. We have a business card we'll show you right here. And Eli, Eli. was it? Eli helped us out a lot. He is in the Las Vegas area. Um, and yeah. He, he gave us a lot of explanations to our questions and was able to provide us with a lot of the materials here on the table that we're going to be using today. Not only do we have turtle stuff that we're going to be doing, we have leopard gecko stuff that we're going to be doing. And, and pricey geckos. Right. So we're just going to have fun with it and you guys can watch and we hope to learn a lot from this and we hope that you can learn from it too. So enjoy Let's with us. Started. We are doing actually a leopard tortoise enclosure, bioactive enclosure. This is Myrtle the turtle. Go ahead also, al also purchased at the show. And you can see that Myrtle has an M on her backside. That's where she got Myrtle the turtle. And I like to think that that looks like a dove. There she is, she's coming out. Very happy she is. So we're just gonna be doing a bioactive enclosure setup for this leopard tortoise. And as we said in the intro, all of our supplies, most of the supplies are from LLL Reptile. We're gonna be starting off with the hydro balls which are little clay balls that go on the bottom of your enclosure. Technically, they just soak up water and they dry. And so when you spray your enclosure, if you need to spray your enclosure for your animal to keep the soil wet, um, when the water drips down from the soil, instead of it going to the glass and staying there, the balls will soak it up and then dry over time. And we are gonna um, have to wash these first. So we're gonna do that really quick and come right back. Okay, so once we have our hydro balls washed, we're going to lightly put them in to the enclosure. And we're going to spread them around. And again, the bag looked like so, and we only used one bag for a 10 gallon Aquarium, terrarium, whatever you'd like to call it. Right now it's just um, soaking up the excess water from the balls. And now I'm going to lightly spread them around so there's no little peaks of glass. Now we're going to take some window screening and measure out the base of the enclosure and lay it on top of the hydro balls that we just washed and laid out and we'll show you close up once we open and cut. Okay, now we have the window screen cut and it looks like that little tiny holes. So we cut a little bit extra so all four sides can lift up a little bit. Uh, that's how you do it. Um, we do this step because it keeps the soil from going into the balls right away or at all actually. So. It is going to roll up, but when we pour the uh, soil, it'll be good. So now we are using the Repti soil that I showed you right about here, and we're going to pour that right on top of the screening. And my mom's going to spread it around. Making sure there's all the corners look great. We're doing it slowly so that all the corners of the screen are up, like she said before, before we really start committing to the full pour. Because we don't want the soil to go down where we don't want it, underneath the screen and above the balls, or down into the balls. Okay. You want a good layer of soil so the plants that you put in, once we um, take the soil away from the roots, you want enough soil so, it, um, so, you, can so you can 
plant your plants and so they can continue to grow properly. Keep it, keep it in the center. Go down the line a little bit. Down here. Okay, that's good. And we'll smooth it again. It's okay, I mean, if some goes in there, but you just you want to try to do the best that you can. I mean, it's going to sift through somewhere, obviously. But to start off with, you want to try to do the best you can. Okay, put the rest of the soil. We're going to be using a whole bag. so short anyway, it's not like it's going to climb up out of the wall, so we can go pretty tall with this. Now I'm just going to flatten out the soil so it's kind of like an even layer for her. Now this gives us a space for all the roots to take hold and so on so that we can have like as if it's a natural little habitat. Now normally you would be using an exoterra or a zoomed enclosure which have the opening doors. Um, it just looks a lot better. But this is what we have right now for the little girl uh, as we showed you in the beginning. This is how small she is. This is perfect for her about right now. So after the soil, we are now gonna choose our plants that are safe and non-toxic for this little critter. Um, we're gonna, we're try gonna go to Go ahead. I want to try to um, create a little land base for her, so you know, like natural out in the open. I we picked a lot of well, we picked up all these plants from Home Depot, right? Yes. So we're gonna cut out some of this, and we've watered everything, and we've rinsed soil out from there so that we get any toxins or anything out of it. That's very, very important, so the little critters don't pick up any weird stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna take and kind of like do like a little shape here because I don't want too much of this, but I want enough of her to have some different surfaces to have yeah. fun with. You wanna make sure that you're not gonna put too many plants right away into your enclosure, meaning when you go to the uh, store or wherever you choose to buy your plants, you wanna get little baby ones like so, so they can grow um, along with your bioactive enclosure. Um, let's just best, it's what's recommended. So just get creative, you know, do it, do it, do, do, no, I'm sorry. Do with what you think is uh... No, 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 you need to... We don't need to really rinse it because we already did. We already did. Um, but you see how I dug it out and planted it in there so the roots can take... So the roots can take place, you know, get, get down in there. And it's a uniform height so that the tortoise can um, climb her way up on and off of it. So let's just take some uh, water and spritz that a little bit to like let it get cold. This is um, just clean water. I'm just gonna lightly mist it. Mist the uh, soil. There you go. Let it really penetrate so that it can start, you know, grabbing onto that water and start flourishing. So now um, mom's going to choose out her plants if she wants. Um, go ahead and choose. Okay. I don't think you can put the flower in because it's too tall. No, it's too tall. tall. So, so I'm going to put like, um, I know Courtney's got some taller uh, yeah, leaves, you know, so yeah. I'm just going to use some shorter ones like this one. Happen to come in the little pot. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to pause because we're going to rinse all the soil out of this particular one so that the roots are completely exposed so that we can get them down in there and they can really take hold and-, and Start growing the, on their own. And yeah, then, so uh, the, plant yeah. Can really, the plant can really flourish. So we'll be right back. Alrighty. All right, so we wash the plants and gently um, wash the roots, the roots area. Sweat. And now I'm gonna show you up close um, how my mom lays them down inside the enclosure. So, so this is gonna be the back. We're just working kind of backwards. Um, she's just trying to figure out where she wants it at now. And I think that's probably good right it. there. Yeah. Okay. So she's just technically digging a hole, um, not to the screen. 
well, you can go to the screen a little bit. Yeah. See, just just like planting a plant out in your yard. So see, she can still get up and around there and in between and have a good time with it. Yeah. Um, basically, we just, we don't want to overplant the um, enclosure. Sure. The leopard, leopard tortoise can have room to walk around her little enclosure and um, we're going to be showing you a little food bowl that we bought and we're going to put that next. All right, now that we have the plants, laid out into the enclosure. We're just going to mist it like we did the other one. Give it some water. It's about good. And now... We washed this really well. Yes, we washed this. Go ahead and wash that up. We got this from PetSmart. Just a little food water dish. It's gonna be her water dish. Again, we're digging it down just a little bit so that she can get in there and you know not have to climb to get to it so much. Just because she's a tiny three-month-old uh, little tortoise. And then she can still get out of it. All she's got to do is, you know, she has to learn. Yeah. So now, go ahead and show them the tile. Oh, this tile, which is a little bit large, so I'm going to kind of like bury it down in. Um, this is so that she can get her little nails sure. trimmed. Technically, we're going to be... It's just a natural stone is what it is. We're going to be feeding her on it, and she's going to be able to walk across, which is going to keep her nails trimmed perfectly. Of course, should put this in first. Yeah. Right. Put this in first. Learn while you go. Soil right up over the top of it to some degree, you know, doesn't matter. Just when you're about to go to feed it, obviously brush it off and lay your food. And you got food in the, uh, wait, I'm gonna dirt in the water there. Did I? It's okay, I'll it up. I need a little bit more soil, I think, for the, for the room here. A little more soil. So mom thinks that she wants more soil to go across the um, stone that we laid in here. So she's just going to open just up a handful. Of that. Just a handful. Just oh, a handful. Cut it I just want a little bit just to kind of, you know, make it more soily, if you will. More of a dirt landscape. Again, this is a, a cage that thing that we had, a tank that we already had. So as the little girl grows, we'll, we'll give her a big we'll house. upgrade. And all these things can be transplanted right back into a different, different, uh, different one, and there it is. Now I'm gonna just mist it again to try to clear off the plants from the dirt that she just poured. Not dirt, soil. That's and perfect. The rep repti soil. Yeah. And now um, I'm just going to fill up the water dish because I cleared it out from the dirt that she dropped in there. The rusty soil. soil, sorry. Just a little bit, like a very, very, very shallow layer because she is just a little itty bitty girl or boy, we don't know yet. Um, we don't really want to drown her if she gets stuck. We were at Home Depot just a little bit ago um, to pick up some household items and we came across these white uh, marble nuggets and mom thought they would be cute for her little tortoise so we're just gonna go rinse them off very well and we'll be back but you know we've never done this before so we're just trying to add color yeah this is our first time doing this I've of course watched videos and stuff I have animals but yeah, reptiles, you should say. but I was wanting to give them something better than plastic plants. So we flipped it around so you can see what we are looking at. Planted the plants, put the rock around them, have the water dish. Now we're going to do the next step, 
which is adding the springtail culture. And later on, we're going to add the dwarf white isopods. These both eat poop or the fecal matter of the animal. Um, and they both work together to keep the plants healthy and alive and perfect. So yes. So now, as I said, I'm just going to be adding the springtails. I think you can see the little white bugs jumping around. We're just gonna grab oh, yeah. a little handful. Put it into the soil. And plop it right over the soil. Just two little handfuls. They will breed, um, so you don't need that much. Um, and I decided to put the premium recti bark uh, because these tortoises love it. We're not gonna put too much, but it's just gonna be enough to cover and make her feel at home. Also trying to cover up what you just put in. What are those? Yeah, we're called? trying to cover up the springtails so she doesn't eat them. Well, she won't eat the bugs, but I just don't want her to eat the um, bedding that they come on. I don't think she'll eat it, but I just don't. I'd rather them go down into the soil, like like kind of kind of make a barrier to where they can't. Um, yeah. They can only go down instead of anywhere else, basically. It's... The glare is bad. You can see me, but I want you guys to notice the moisture in between the glass and the soil. That is a good thing. This is what keeps your plants alive. Um, again, the net is to keep all of this from going there and ruining the purpose of the balls. Um, and yeah. The balls are basically a filtration. Everything yeah. can go down. And it's like an ecosystem. It can just kind of like, humidity can rise back up and just go right back into its little atmosphere and just kind of keep you know, make things kind of natural. Yeah. Natural habitat indoors. So this is the tank. I'm not gonna put little Myrtle the Tartal. Please say now. A, I know she's a, our key, the Who tortoise, knows? but it's just a cute name. You like your new home? It's looking around. Pretty cool. Oh, she's walking around. <gasps> she's more inquisitive. She sees oh things. I think she's going for that. We need to get her some food. Let me go get some food. Oh, I love her. <laughs> she is going for it. We did get safe plants, so just in case she eats it, it'll be okay. We're not eating the plants, silly girl. Let's not eat them. <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna try to eat yeah, them. Yeah. Just take the girl. There you go. Yeah, she's hungry. That's a good sign. She's healthy. We did just get her yesterday at the expo in Costa Mesa. And this morning she just really wasn't coming out. It was like she was sleeping in and she her her lettuce kind of went wilty and we threw it away. So now maybe she's feeling a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna go turn off the overhead fan. And as I did say, this is a uh, used tank from one of my other um, previous blizzards that came in here. Um, it is melted, but it's okay <laughs> when she gets bigger. This is not her forever home because she is just, as I said, three months old. Oh, there she goes. She's happy. Now, we don't just feed her romaine lettuce. Not just that. We feed her other things. She'll have a very good diet. She'll be a healthy little baby. Hi right, guys, thank you for watching our video on how to make this beautiful leopard tortoise tank. I think she's happy. <laughs> she is. All right, and I want to say a big thank you to my mom for buying me all of these supplies. Hey, no problem. Okay, so be tuned for our next video. I'm going to be doing a Cressa gecko bioactive enclosure, kind of just like how I did this, but for a Cressa gecko and adding some other fun things. Where are they? Feeding them. Yeah, and adding these little thingies. So if you want to see that, watch my next video. And shout out, real big shout out to LLL Reptile. I am very, very, very thankful for them. 
they literally they hooked us up with everything we need not only the knowledge knowledge and the help they talked to us and i'm really 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 am thankful for them um so again thank you um this is their card take a screenshot all right and again thank you for watching our video and we'll be back making a crescent gecko enclosure bye for now